all right guys so today's video is about how to add digital watch faces in w26 plus smartwatch so i'll be sharing with you how you can add digital watch faces like this on your w26 plus smartwatch using two methods so the mediatek smart device app and the fundo wear app so let's get down to business all right the first thing to do here is to reset your smartwatch so i'm going to show you how you can do that just reset it so that it will clear the previous data on it so if you are trying for the first time or if you have been trying it and it is not working then you need to reset it so swipe left and go to the setting icon here this get icon then you select the get icon and scroll all the way down and you're going to see the reset option then you select the reset option and you are going to see this will erase all data from your smartwatch then you select the reset option and you are going to see that your watch will go off and come back on so once it's switched on like this that means it has been reset successfully the next thing to do is to go to your smartphone and download the mediatek smart device app so you go to your smartphone and switch on the data or the wi-fi which i've done my here then switch on the bluetooth and switch on the location please make sure you toggle on these three settings so that you can have easy connection and add your digital watch face very very easy all right so once you have done this just open your browser so i'm using chrome browser here you are going to search for mediatek smart device on some trusted website because mediatek smart device app is not available on google play store so you have to search it on google you are going to search for mediatek smart device apk pure all right mediatek smart device apk pure so let's select that as you can see it's right here so you can also download it from other places just as i've said like app monk media test smart device app monk so let's just download this from apk pure because that works very well with media tech smart device watches so as you can see right here on apk then you download the apk file which is 7.3 megabytes you select download and once you select download you are going to see downloading it says file might be harmful do you want to download mediatek version these days download anyways it is trusted don't worry about that it is still downloading now it is there now you just open the downloaded file and you can see it says do you want to install this mediatek smart device application you select install yeah it is installed now we have our app installed we open it and you are going to see this pop up that says choose what you choose what to allow mediatek smart device to access make sure all these are toggled on your location and everything on this page are toggled on you select continue and you are going to see this app was built for older version of android and may not work properly try update our contact all right so i just check out the malavinda option here you can i will drop the link in the description so let's just test this if it is the latest mediatek smart device app for android so i've just downloaded that and let me open it and see if this is the latest open all right so that means malavinda mediatek smart device app is the latest as you can see it's uh, actually pop up everything that we need just select this allow notification you select allow allow the notification access then you select back option here and that is it the next thing to do here is to launch it and connect it to your mediatek smart device so let's launch it select the smartwatch logo or smartwatch image and it's going to search for any bluetooth device around you as you can see it is showing unknown device unknown device and orimo watch pro because that is what i'm putting on here so go to your smartwatch swipe down and select this icon 
as you can see the bluetooth setting says power is off and bluetooth visibility is on so you have to switch on this power switch it on and you switch it on and make sure the both options are switched on you can see our uh, watch 6 has just appeared so you select watch 6 and you select watch 6 it's going to connect as you can see it shows connect all right it's now connected now if you want to confirm you can just select find device and you can see it is ringing that shows it has been successfully connected okay now we have our watch 6 connected as it shows uh notification that media text smart device has been connected successfully when you view it you are going to see it there all right so that is that it has been connected successfully the next thing to do is to go to cool watch faces and download these digital watch faces in w26 plus smartwatch now you have to go again and open a new page and let's go to cool watch faces there are other watch faces website that you can go for but let's go for cool watch faces as you can see here cool watch faces okay yeah this is the website now we have a lot of watch faces the first thing to do when you get to this coolwatchfaces.com is to select the format which you can see it's going to bring up this format then you select vxp then you select the type analog or digital you select digital then you select go when you select that it's going to bring up digital watch faces that can work with your smart watch okay so now you can now scroll down you can now scroll down and see you are going to see a lot of vxps watch faces that can work with your MediaTek smart device as you can see maradona watch face and all these watch face but i want you to get to apple watch face or joker watch face faster all you have to do is to just come to this search clock watch face and select it and it's going to show your keyboard and you select joker just put in joker rather put in joker and search okay it's going to bring up joker for android watch face and for vxp now we have our vxp here this is the one that is going to work with your mediatek smart device because it is a four corner watch so it's going to work for this but if you have a round watch you can go for this but this is digital that is going to work for it so we are going to install this if you want apple watch face just go here and search for apple watch face select it and search for apple and you are going to see your apple watch face is going to pop up here as you can see here this is the apple watch face if you want the toy watch face that is toy watch face just select toy and search for it and you can see the toy watch face pop up there are lots of watch faces you can choose here so let's just go back and search apple watch face apple watch face all right so we have apple watch face here so let's download this download then we go and scroll all the way down to download vm323 watch face so when you select that it's going to download as you can see just let's wait for it so that it can download into our phone all right now we can see our file has been downloaded okay so let's go to our file then you go to your download select the file which is our apple watch face file then you extract as you can see it has extracted so you select done and it's going to bring the three files out okay so just select it this way press hold press hold the three files and you are going to move it to app manager so you select that three dot up here you select this three dot up here and select move and go to your internal storage and you select app manager as you can see here so you can move it to this app manager and you select move here 
So once you move it, you are going to see that it's moved it to the app manager. Okay. Once you have done that, the next thing to do is to launch your MediaTek Smart Device app. When you select that, then you're going to go to my applications. Under my application, you are going to see the watch face for the Apple watch face logo. So you can just install. Let's just put this and select install. As you can see, it says install successful. That means it has been successfully installed. Now, if you want to change it, you just press hold on your watch face like this. Swipe this way. Okay. And you're going to see an empty space here. Select OK. And you see OK is going to show on your watch now now you have your apple logo on your w26 plus smartwatch this is your digital watch face on w26 plus smartwatch so another way you can add digital watch faces in w26 plus smartwatch is to download fundo wear app okay so if you want to use fundo wear app you have to uninstall this mediatek smart device app and you have to uninstall m active app you have to install install this apps because they are going to conflict with fundo wear app so i'm going to uninstall mediatek smart device app right now so that it will conflict and also i'm going to uninstall m active app so once i've done that now i can go to my google play store and download fundo wear app okay let's search for fundo wear app fundo where app okay this is it now i uh, install so as you can see it has downloaded the fundo where app then you select open and make sure your watch is still connected you can just make sure this are uh, switched on and you connect it if you don't know how to connect your wt6 plus smartwatch please watch the video up here you are going to see how you can connect it without app so once you have connected just come to this fundo wear app and open it up once you have downloaded it then you are going to see this agreement option here select i agree so when you select i agree it's going to connect to your watch so you scroll, scroll left and select start novice on the road just close it <laughs> now you can log in with your login details you can register up here and you can also use your facebook twitter or wechat information you can also select tourist login in case you don't want to input your informations at all so you can select tourist login and it's just going to skip all this process all together so let's select that and you're going to see a pop-up that says one please open the right then you select ok then you come down here to the advanced and make sure you select display over other apps allow fundo where to display over other apps then you can select go back okay make sure it can modify allow then you go back make sure it can install unknown apps allow don't worry all these are saved and once you are done then you go back and launch your fundo where app afresh so once you have done that, um, it's going to ask you for enable notification. You select OK. Then you come here and enable notification access. Allow. OK, then you go back once again. Now you launch it again. I think that's the last step we have to do here and just give it permission to access your location camera and stuff like that so grant permission here allow then you go back allow no permissions okay allow allow storage allow so once you have done that can i go back okay let's launch it once again 
and now we are at the home page just make sure you grant the necessary permissions so that you can get to this home page once you get to this home page what to do next is to select these three lines and go to my application okay the application is where you are going to see your watch faces here all right so if i want to had another watch face here i'm going to show you how you can do that just go to your cool watch faces and download a light watch face let's pick lion watch face okay all right we have lion watch face here so we are going to select download and when you select download it's going to take you to the next page then you are going to come here and select download wm351 watch face so that's our digital watch face name okay so let's wait for it to download so let's just minimize this and go to our files our file manager now at the download page you have to extract the file vm underscore 351 so let's tap on that and go to say extract then select the extract option down here and it's going to bring the lion watch face out now we have the file out here now we have to select these three files okay one and the default and the png file itself then we'll move them by selecting it here and we we'll move it to the app manager so you go to your internal storage here and here you select app manager you move it here and move here okay once you have done that it will move it to your app manager then you can now go and launch your fundoway app and you are going to see your lion watch face here as you can see here then you can uninstall this let's uninstall this first then we can now install our lion uh this thing there so let's switch it to the lion watch face which is this blank space as you can see now we have our lion watch face here right here using the fundo wear app so this is just similar to using the mediatek smart device app these are the two ways you can add digital watch faces in wc plus smartwatch you can use it for any mediatek smart device watch that uses mediatek smart device app so that is it if you have any question please let me know in the comment section down below and i will reply you as soon as possible remember to subscribe I remember Baton Dio Motayo and I'll see you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.